Wow, he did a great job putting that together. Oh, Hon, that's yeah, how that you're gonna, that wind's going to take that down. So positive. Did, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? To put it? Uh, do you think the wind's going to come down? Right in the little feeder area. That's where the birds eat it at. I hope the wind right doesn't, here. doesn't take that In here. So you want me to pour it? Yeah, as opposed to, like, eating it yourself. <laughs> Right here. Why didn't he put it on a tree? I know. That's what I said. <laughs> and what's that? A solar to keep it on? Yeah, it's power. Now, do you have a chip in there so you can? Yes. Turn it We're probably gonna have raccoons eating that. No squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. Yep. Hey everybody, uh, we have tons of birds. We got hummingbirds, which are by the way pretty cool, but we got you know all kinds of other different birds, uh, cardinals and blue jays, and, uh, and we have some little feeders around and we're always watching them and it's just cool. I mean they're neat. Um, and we came across this really neat bird feeder because uh, we're always taking pictures of the birds and uh, this bird feeder has a camera on it a, a solar powered camera no less by uh, Lumeri and by the way this company Lumeri has um, all kinds of really nice uh, items I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking any of their stuff out but they got all kinds of cool stuff um, anyway I wanted to give this a try because we really love um, you know, having the bird houses and the feeders for the birds. Heck, we even had uh, uh, a couple of eggs hatch up on our patio right up uh, over there in one of that planters there. Uh, so this might be perfect for us. I mean, we wanted to get video of them hatching. This may give us an opportunity at least to see them eating, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna uh, let's let's pull this out of the box and take a look at it, and then uh, me and Mom will go ahead and see if we can find a nice uh, spot where we want to put it and make sure that we got it up and running. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of the box, see what we got. All right, All nicely packaged. This thing looks like it's got some range to it <laughs> with that antenna going, right? Oh, that's a nice, nice looking camera in there. So here's the unit. It's uh, well engineered, it's not cheap at all. Looks like it's all the stuff. The cap, obviously. Um, what I may do uh, to help folks out is do the assembly and um, and set up like I've done in the past to help out with folks that uh, would rather do a video guide than instructions. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on putting it together. 
All right, let's uh, begin by popping uh, the top on. It's really just a simple matter of snapping this back latch in. And uh, it secures it pretty good. Uh, then the little bird footrest thing just kind of plugs in like a little puzzle there. And they give you this nice little screw that's really a hand screw. It's pretty simple. At this point I went ahead and charged uh, the battery because I knew I was going to have to connect it to my phone. So I wanted it to be fully charged and it's one of those USB-C's that you use for the new phones. After I charged it I stuck uh, one of those micro SD cards in and it's at the top, the same right next to the slot where you put the um, charging cable. It's a little bit trickstery. Uh, putting the card in you kind of got to use your nail uh, and it snaps in so I had to try a couple of times here but uh, you can feel it and hear it snap in when you get it and there it is and uh, we'll go ahead and close this little waterproof uh, cover up and uh, we're good to go with some memory now the solar panel mount is a little bit trickstery <laughs> so um, you know you could fool with it on your own <laughs> or do it like this you know just watch what I'm doing here um, and put it on uh, it, um, when you tighten this bottom thing it actually tightens the top one somehow it's like magic uh, so don't worry about the top thing it will tighten up when you tighten the bottom. See? Oh, it's Magica. Very interesting. Not sure how they did that. And it uh, screws in on the back. So that's uh, pretty much how the solar panel mount works. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy on uh, my mounting location. I'm going to put it on a little wishing well that. Uh, you can see it's strapped down quite well because we get multi-billion mile an hour winds here. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this holds up. They give you lots of different mounting options uh, in there, lots of hardware. So just use what's best for you based on where you're going to put it. I obviously just chose to use some wood screws that uh, holds it in pretty good. So now it's time to actually put the solar panel on the mount and uh, basically screw this back piece in uh, just like this and then uh, the bottom piece tightens it like I said before uh, it's really I don't know how uh, they did it some kind of weird physics thing but when you tighten it it actually snugs up the pivot on the top all right so this is the uh, bird feeder mount I'm just marking where I'm gonna put my wood screws uh, on the side here 
just kind of making little grooves so I know where to put them in. Again, they give you lots of mounting options from straps if, to, you know, uh, I don't know, just all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I just use these wood mounting screws. like a little opening and then you just sort of slide it into place and then once it's where you want it you just crank it down at that point I'll tighten it up there we go nice and secure So the uh, plug for the solar panel has this waterproof uh, inlet in the back there that's real nice. You can see there. And then uh, basically you just slide the unit onto your mount. It's a pretty snug little thing so you got to use some force uh, to get it in position. And there it is.